just in time. Interrupting the beam of light kept the doors from closing and stopped anyone from using the elevator. But what now? No. No. Wrong. There. That would keep the doors from closing. There wasn't much I could do with a pulley that didn't have any rope. There wasn't enough room to move the handle. I was wrestling with the small crate when I noticed the label on its side. Danger, live contents do not drop. The crate was lit. There were small holes in the top and sides and scratchy noises coming from inside. as if a door had been opened in the nearby wall. My fingers traced the outline of a secret door in the wall. Then I found a small round stone stud, which was set flush to the surrounding wooden paneling. Just as I thought, a secret room. Nico! It was a small statue of a kneeling figure in an ornate headdress. The head was hideous, with huge staring eyes set in a decomposing face. Hey, somebody's marketing Labano dolls. There, how are you feeling? Oh, thanks, Georges. How on earth did you find me? I knew Oubier had been in Marseille, but never mind about me. How about you tell me exactly what's going on, starting with that Mayan stone? I picked it up from one of Kazakh's men in Paris. I was expecting a consignment of narcotics. Drugs? Yes, the proof I needed to expose Kazakh's smuggling operation. I'd set it up to act as his courier, and once I had the proof, I planned to go straight to Inspector Moon. But instead of the dope I'd expected, they sent me that stone instead. And to find out more, I called Professor Oubier, who invited me to his mansion. At least, I thought it was Oubier. I don't get it. If Karzak's business is drugs, why is he so desperate to get his hands on that stone? Maybe it has some significance to the local people in Central America. Could be Kazakh's means of getting them to work for him. Anyway, we've got to get out of here. Nico, wait! I decided to keep the masking tape. It was bound to be of some use to me. We 
We can't use the elevator. If that thug Pablo's recovered, he'll be waiting for us. We've got to do something. Where does that door lead to? I'm not sure. It would be much easier to attach the rope to the statue first. Hopefully, the tape would prevent those doors from closing and stop the Indian from being able to call the elevator. discovered the power of hydraulics. What on earth are you doing? Trying to raise the statue so I can hook it to that pulley. Is that really going to help us? I like to keep myself occupied in times of stress. Did that Indian guy mistreat you? If you forget about the abduction, verbal threats and bondage, no. Well, what about the little guy? I don't think he knows where he is or what he's doing here. The big guy, Pablo, he brought Titipoco from the jungle. Titi what? Titipoco. That's what I heard Pablo call the dwarf. Did I hear you refer to Inspector Moon? Yes, you remember him? Of course I do. But I thought he was dead. Oh no, he reappeared after the broken sword case had blown over. When he found out who was in with the Neo Templars, he went into hiding. Mu knew more than was good for him. Does he know about our involvement with the case? If he does, he's not telling. Still, he got a sudden promotion. Did you know Ubier's wife was a film star? No, I didn't know he was married. What happened to her? She died. In mysterious circumstances, apparently. How mysterious? I heard she was murdered. Possibly by Ubier himself. A murderer, huh? André said he was something of a celebrity. Have you any idea who this little statue is supposed to be? I'm not very well acquainted with my deities, Georges. But whatever his name, he sure is ugly. Look, the little guy downstairs was chained up with these. That must have been Pablo's doing. I don't blame him, though. That little guy is dangerous. You're still sore about that poison dart? Of course I'm sore. Do you recognize this? Is that the dart which knocked me out? That's right. I kept it as a souvenir. Tell me about this Karzak guy. Well, I saw him for only a few minutes, but he frightens me. I got the impression that Pablo was nervous when he was around, too. His eyes. They're like a wild animal's, like a tiger. That's what scared me most about him. He looked so unpredictable and dangerous. Okay, tell me what you know about Condor. Condor Transglobal exports Aztec and Mayan relics from Central America to Europe. But that's just a cover for the real business. Drug smuggling. What proof do you have? Nothing yet. Do you know where Condor is based? In Central America, a place called Cuaramonte. I saw that name on a docket downstairs. I found these in your bag. Oh, they were a gift. I know, I read the note. God knows what was going through Andre's mind. I think that's quite plain enough. It 
was too heavy for me to move on my own. Could you give me a hand to push this statue? What for? This, my dear, is our passport to freedom. If you say so, dear. Okay, push! Nice to be working with you again, Mr. Stobart. Nico, I have a great idea. Josh, where have you been? Never mind that. Do you have the Mayan stone? Maybe I have, but uh... Don't argue, André. Give the stone to Josh. Well, of course. If you say so, Nicole. Thank you so much, André. Josh, he told me you'd been kidnapped, my dear. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Oh, but it was true. If it hadn't been for Josh, I wouldn't be here now. That's not finished yet. Karzak's thugs will be back for that stone, you can bet. The best lead that we have is Coromonte City. Coromonte? It's in Central America. That's where Ubier gets his artifacts. That's all we needed to know. Come on, Georges. Coromonte, the traveler's rear entrance to Central America. Well, that's how it was translated in the brochure. We didn't know what we were looking for. But the offices of Condor Trans Global seemed a good place to start. Hey, it's market day. I don't see any cabs. Let's ask someone how to get to Quaramonte City. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for any sign of Condor Trans Global. Hi. You wanna buy something? Uh, no, not really. I got cabbages. Buy a cabbage, senor. I don't think so. I didn't come all this way to buy vegetables. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Aye, Tetzcatlipoca. Put it away, senor. Tetzcatlipoca brings nothing but evil. The poor guy was so freaked, he didn't even mention his cabbages. Listen, have you heard of Condor Trans Global? No. Buy a cabbage. I'll give you a discount on bulk purchases. I'm not in the cabbages. See ya. Those things are gourds, aren't they? See. Hey! We're lady. Do you have crabs? No, only fish. Do you recognize this statue? Si, senor. It is very, very bad luck. That is Tescat Riboca, night hunter. I know, but I don't believe in luck, good or bad. You may not now, but you will. The guy looked scared out of his wits. Go away! Go Hey, cheer up, guys. What's with the long faces? Our pipe player has been arrested and thrown in jail. Poor Miguel. He never broke the law in his life. What do you make of this little worm? No good. It's dead. Sure it's dead. You think I'd carry it around in my pocket if it wasn't? 
Take a look at the design on this label. I have seen that before. Where? There was a ship flying a flag just like that. When did you see this ship? Three months ago. It was here, at the docks. Do you guys know anything about a total eclipse? What is it? It's like when the sun is hidden by the moon. It's crazy. My cousin Alfredo swears he saw it happen once. But that was after he stupidly consumed a cocktail of peyote and antibiotics. Would either of you guys care for a biscuit? A dog biscuit, senor? Are you trying to insult us? No, really. They're good. We'll take your word for it. What was the ship with the Condor flag carrying? I don't know, senor. We weren't allowed near the docks. <laughs> That's right. Usually we meet the ships when they tie up. We play to the tourists. Well, when the Condor ship came in, we were told to go away. Have you any idea what this is? No, senor. Me neither. <laughs> Have you seen anything like... I, the hungry chief. Why are you carrying that thing around with you, senor? Don't you know who it is? Sure, it's Tez Catlipoca. But it's only a little carving. It brings death, senor. Death and destruction. Why was Miguel put in jail? For playing folk music. What? It's true, senor. He insisted on playing traditional Cuaramonte music, even though it's illegal. Why don't you try playing a tune to cheer yourselves up? No, we should be looking for real jobs. We could earn ten times as much down the mines. My cousin Ramirez was earning eight pesos an hour. Before he lost his legs in the accident. Tell me about the accident at the mine. There was an explosion at Teoculcan. Thirty miners were buried alive. They got some of them out, though. Two of them, including your cousin, and they left half of him behind. George Stover, hello. Mrs. Henderson. Boy, this is some coincidence, huh? When you've been married to a fruitcake like Dwayne as long as I have, you stop believing in coincidence. I'd met Pearl and Duane on the other side of the globe in Syria. He was an army veteran who suspected he was working for the CIA, but wasn't sure. She was less obviously deranged. Look at this, Pearl. A tequila worm. Don't you bring that thing anywhere as near me, honey. I swear I'll scream like a hog on a hog plate. Take a look at this news cutting, Pearl. You'll have to read it to me, George. I left my specs in a gay bar in Santa Barbara. Well, it's about an eclipse of the sun, which is due to occur in a few weeks' time. You'd think the government would warn us about these kind of things. Uh, uh it's not dangerous or anything. Apparently, the best place to view the eclipse is right here in Cuaramonte. Oh, my. She didn't appear to be the slightest bit interested. What does this mean to you, Pearl? What cute little feathers. Why, well, if you had two of those, they'd sure make nice earrings. This isn't intended for frivolous personal adornment, Pearl. It's a dart tipped with a fast-acting, muscle-numbing poison. Pardon me. I stand corrected, honey. Sometimes I got the feeling that communication with Pearl was like sending signals out into space. Maybe, if you waited long enough, you'd get an intelligent answer back. But it was a long shot. What do you make of this statue, Pearl? Hoo-wee! That's a spitting image of Dwayne's brother Sheridan. A little less body hair, maybe, but it's him all right. What do you make of this stone, Pearl? Oh, that's pretty. What's that thing supposed to be, a rabbit? I believe it's a coyote. Well, it sure is cute. I was surprised she didn't ask me where she could buy one. What brings you to Cuaramonte, Pearl? What takes me just about anywheres. The market. You drove 2,000 miles to go shopping? Shopping is my role in the economy of the great design. 
Is Dwayne here with you, Mrs. Henderson? Why, sure, I couldn't leave him home alone. Since Dwayne came back from the war, we couldn't bear to be apart. So, where is he now? We ain't speaking. Why aren't you speaking to Dwayne? Because he's an old spoiler for Sarah Puss. I want to visit one of those old pyramid places, but Dwayne says he has to stay in town. Right. And you don't want to go on your own. Well, there's no point in going to the pyramid if there's no one around to take my picture. Is Dwayne still working for the CIA? If he is, he doesn't know it. He's what they call a snoozer. Uh, don't you mean a sleeper? No, this is different. He used to think he worked for them, but the psychotherapy cured him of that. What he doesn't realize is that now he really does work for them. At least that's the way I understood it. Catch you later, Pearl. In Cuaramonte, defacing a poster was probably a capital offense. What, uh, what, what was that? It's a lump of lucky coal. A ca, ca, coal? I, I would have, uh, I would have preferred, uh, chocolate. Uh, any, any, uh, flavor, so long as it, uh, hasn't got, uh, uh mar marzipan in it. God, I, I, I hate uh, marzipan. You can talk. I, I mean, you're a talking goat. K keep, keep your voice down. The, the, this is, is between you and me, right? Well, I guess so. Now, I, 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 I mean it. You, 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 you tell anyone you've spoken to me, and, and, and you'll be cursed. It was Pearl's husband, Dwayne. Hey, Mr. Anderson. Good to see you again. Do I know you, son? George Stobart, remember? In Syria? I sold you a statue. I remember that. Pearl was mighty vexed when the paint came off. Look, I'm sorry. I'll give you back the $50. No, no. You suckered me fair and square. Do you know anything about a shipping company called Condor Transglobal? Sure I do. You have to get up pretty early to catch Dwayne with his pants down. What? You beat me to it? Condor Transglobal is all wound up. Seems like my investigations scared them off. Would you like to borrow my lucky piece of coal, Dwayne? What's so lucky about it? Well, we made it to Cuaramonte in one piece. When you've been here a few days, you won't look on that as luck. Would you like a biscuit, Dwayne? Oh, no. Those gourmet dog snacks bring me out in a rash. You've tried them? They were on special offer. Pearl bought a whole crate. When I asked her if she was thinking of keeping a dog, too, she just laughed. Did you drive all the way down here? Hell no. Pearl did the driving while I followed the maps. The way she handled the wheel, you'd think she'd been trucking half her life. Did you know that traditional music is illegal in Caramonte? Is that so? Seems reasonable to me. No, really. The leader of the band in the square has been in prison just because of the music he played. I don't know who you've been talking to, but that fella, Miguel, he's an agitator. Why did you bring a huge truck like that? George, I'm on a top secret classified mission for Uncle Sam. This truck is a rolling bomb. 400 pounds of nitrate fertilizer with a plastic initiator. They'll hear the bang in China. Gee, I'm really looking forward to this. What do you think of these panties, Dwayne? Lord, hot stuff, George. You buy those for your girl? No. A guy we know in Paris bought him for. Oh, you're a three 
some then. Why are you looking at me like that, George? Forget it. I spoke to Pearl earlier. Yeah? Did she mention that we had a kind of falling out? Yes, she did. She'll get over it. What's the real reason the musician was imprisoned? Handed out subversive literature at the mines. That so-called general was waiting for Miguel when he got back into town. Marched him off to jail at gunpoint on a charge of inciting a riot. Does the name Karzak mean anything to you? Sounds like a comic book villain to me, son. He's the man behind Condor and the rat who kidnapped Nico. You know, the first time I met you, I was deeply impressed with your naive simplicity. I said to Pearl, if we ever had kids, I would have wanted a boy like George. But I underestimated you, son. Are you still working for you know who? You know I can't talk about my work, George. That's between me and Uncle Sam. There was a forlorn-looking guy asleep on the floor of the jail. It was Miguel, the pipe player. Hey, Miguel! He didn't hear me. Hey, Nico! I have done just as I have been instructed, Professor. With the mine closed down, there will be no one around to observe your excavation. Ah, I have visitors. Just remember what I told you, General. There's really no need to make a martyr out of that man. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, senor. Welcome to Quarmonte. Thanks. My name's George Stobart from California. But what is this? An angel come down to earth. Nicole Collard. Enchanté, mon général. Pardon me, senorita, but I couldn't help myself. Uh, look, we'd like to ask you a few questions. You've come to the right place, senor. Uh, tourist information. General Graciento, at your service. Would you like a biscuit? Are you trying to bribe me? Well, every man has his price. Mine is more than a dog cookie, senor Stobart. Take a look at this label. Si, senor. Condor Transglobal. Can you tell me where to find their offices? No, senor. I never heard of them, and neither did Ronaldo. Do you know anything about the forthcoming Eclipse General? Such things do not interest me, senor. Is it true there's a restriction on music in Cuaramonte? Yes, there is. An emergency measure introduced by Nuestra Senora. Folk music is a link with the past for some of these people. Take away their musical roots and what do they got left? Easy listening. You think easy listening could replace a musical heritage hundreds of years old? Why not? It happened in your country. Who was the guy you were talking to when we arrived? Professor Oubier. A visitor, senor, like yourselves. Did you say Oubier? Si, senor. Professor Oubier. A French archaeologist. What's Oubier doing in Cuaramonte? Researching our rich and glorious past, senor. The professor is planning an expedition to some Mayan ruins. He came to see me to get an excavation permit. Are there any ruins around the city? Of course, senor. Cuaramonte has everything. I have a friend who wants to visit an historical site. Ronaldo will only be too pleased to conduct a guided tour. When he's dealt with today's paperwork, of course. What do you think of these panties, General? Oh, boy, fabuloso! 
They're yours if you'll tell me all you know about Karzak. Karzak? I never heard of him. Do I get the panties now? I told you all I know. You told me nothing. I hear there was an accident at the mine a few months ago. That's correct. A lot of men killed, weren't there? A few. Thirty? <laughs> Barely one percent of the working population. This is the tourist office? It says police on the sign outside. It is both, senor. I am a man of many parts. I can see that, General. Are you sure you never heard of Condor? Oh, yes. The company is registered here, in Quaramonte City. You are mistaken, senorita. The musicians out in the square say that a ship flying the Condor flag was birthed here. They are simple peasants. They will go along with anything you say in the hopes of parting you from your money. Condor is run by Karzak, isn't it? Wrong again, senor. Karzak has nothing to do with anything called Condor. Whoever he is. Do you keep a record of companies registered in Quaramonte? Of course, senorita. Unfortunately, all the records were destroyed by a flash flood. Have you ever seen anything like this before? That's a native carving, isn't it? Where did you get it? We picked it up in the market, as a souvenir. I'll be back. I had no need for junk mail, especially someone else's. Senor! Leave that chart alone. Take a look at this. Mon Dieu! Where did you get that kind of money? It's not mine. I found that statement at Ubier's house. Take a look at this. An eclipse of the sun. Why the sudden interest in astronomy? I found the cutting in Ubier's house. Apparently, it's only visible from Central America. Take a look at this, Nico. That's disgusting, George. Why are you carrying it around with you? I don't know. I just can't seem to part with it. Guess what this is. Go on, guess. It's wrought iron, probably from a chimney stack on an old stove. Uh, well, I suppose it could be. How did she know that? My grandfather used to work in a foundry. Would you like a biscuit? Gourmet dog? Have you been eating those things, Georges? Sure, they're great. Do you have any theories about this stone? I think that design represents a dog, a Mexican dog. So, this is the sacred Chihuahua stone? Sheesh. That man we saw talking to the general was Ubier. Didn't you recognize him? I never met him, remember? The guy I called in Paris claimed to be Ubier, but he sounded nothing like the man in the police station. Maybe the professor really is innocent. Nah, it's too much of a coincidence that he's here in Cuaramonte. Labano tells me he's been seeing a lot of you. We meet sometimes for lunch, a drink. After you'd gone back to the States, I was pretty lonely, you know. Lonely? You must have been desperate. Couldn't you just visit the zoo or something? Hi, I'm George Stobart. Hello, senor. How can I help you? You know anything about this eclipse? No, senor. El General keeps me in the dark about most things. Would you like a gourmet dog snack biscuit? I would love one, senor. But I would have a problem with my teeth. Toothache? No, senor. If the General catches me eating on duty, he'll knock them out. I'd like to visit your prisoner. Condemned prisoners aren't allowed visitors. Condemned? To death. He is to be executed. Knowing my luck, I will probably have to shoot him myself. 
Amnesty International is going to hear about this. Do you recognize this statue? It's Gantley Book. The night wind. Take it away, senor. That stone is cursed. Are there any ancient pyramids near Cuaramonte? Si, senor. But it's not very impressive. It's in ruins. That's perfect. I thought Miguel was arrested for playing the wrong kind of music. Si, senor, he was. And that carries the death penalty? No, no, no. You think we're crazy? While being questioned, he confessed to being an anti-government agent. Would you be willing to give a guided tour of the ruins? I can't. The general would have a feat if I left all this paperwork. So long. Why did you show him the stone? I thought maybe he might know something about it. Well, he does now, for sure. He knows we have it. You came on a little strong with the general. I was merely flattering his ego, Georges. Every man has his Achilles heel. Maybe, but that guy's weakness isn't in his foot. Did you notice that chart on the police station wall? Yes, it looked like a map to me, but I couldn't make out the details. Whatever it was, the general didn't want us to see it. I hear you drove all the way to Cuaramonte, in a truck. That's right. You would not believe the state of some of those roads. Makes me damn right sad to think there's still some places you can't reach in an automobile. In this day and age, you'd think there'd be decent highways just about anywhere folk choose to go. Did you know that the truck was full of explosives? Whatever gave you that idea, as if I couldn't guess. Your husband. He was exaggerating, wasn't he? Sometimes I wonder how I'm gonna cope with Dwayne's over-fertile imagination. Have you met the guy who calls himself the General? No, I haven't. Is he a real general? I guess so. He wears a lot of medals on his chest. The wrong side of his chest. At least, for any army I'd ever seen. Catch you later, Paul. Do you think the general was involved with Condor? Hell no. And if he's a general, I'm a Buddhist. No, that fella's just a mouthpiece for the real power in Guaramonte. So, the General is nothing but a puppet? He's like Pinocchio before he met the Blue Rinse Fairy. Strictly strings and wood. Who's pulling the strings? His mother. Better known as La Presidenta, the dictator. Professor Ubier? Yes? Who are you? My name is Stobart, George Stobart. Have you ever employed a Central American butler or servant? I've never employed any kind of servant, monsieur. Can you identify this statue, professor? Oh, yes. Tezcatlipoca, the Lord of Darkness. A Central American god, right? A supreme deity. Tezcatlipoca means, literally, smoking mirror. There. You see the mirror shield in his left hand? The Mayans believed he could look into the mirror and see into the hearts of men. He was the wind which came howling in the night in search of victims. And victims they gave him by the thousand. Human sacrifices? Men, women, children, animals, anything that bled. The steps of his temple ran red with the blood of sacrifices. The Mayans have a legend that says he'll return one day. I hope I'm not around to see it. Do you know anything about this eclipse, Professor? Of course. It's not the reason I'm here in Cuaramonte, but I'm looking forward to seeing it all the same. Do you see this label? Yes. 
It refers to a company named Kondo. What of it? I traced that company here, to Quaramonte. Do you know where I can find the offices of Condor Transglobal? The company no longer exists. They went bankrupt recently. Would you like a biscuit? No, thank you. You should, they're good. Mm. I can't get enough of these things. I have proof that you are directly involved with Condor. I used them as shippers to transport artifacts to a gallery in Paris. Beyond that, I have no connection with the company, which, as I said, no longer exists. What are you doing in Caramonte, Professor? Seeking Mayan artifacts. Central American history has been my life's work. What do you know about my girlfriend's abduction? I don't know what you're talking about. She was invited to your mansion in Paris. Not by me, she wasn't. I haven't been home for nearly seven months. Take a look at this, Professor. What have you got to say about that? Where did you get this? Never mind that. How do you explain these withdrawals? I left my financial affairs in the hands of my secretary. Including the withdrawal of funds in cash from your personal account? I trust Gwyneth implicitly. And why Marseille? Why the very place my girlfriend was taken? That's obvious, Stobart. We are both the victims of the same devious plot. Now, what plot? I have no idea. Tell me about your wife, Professor. Please, I... I don't want to talk about her. Maybe you don't, but I do. Why was she known as... the Little Dachshund? It was just a silly pet name I used to call her. Somehow some damned reporter found out. Does the name Karzak mean anything to you? Yes, I know him. In fact, if it wasn't for Karzak, I wouldn't be here. What? He's financing my expedition. Can you tell me anything about this stone? Where did you get that? That's my business. How much do you want for it? It's not for sale. What's your interest in the eclipse, Professor? Oh, it's purely a layman's curiosity. History is my subject, not astronomy. But I've been fascinated by the movements of the heavenly bodies since I was a child. I wouldn't miss a total eclipse for the world. Does the eclipse have some special significance for you? For me? No. For the ancient Mayans, it marked the end of the Fifth Age. Perhaps we should be celebrating. Ah, no. The end of each age heralds destruction on a global scale. The Fifth is the final age, ending in the total destruction of the Earth. I had nothing else to ask him. I had no more... <laughs> Tell me about the general. You know, the guy in charge around here. We don't want to talk about him, senor. How come? No one can hear you. Well, only that old goat. In Cuaramonte, we have a saying. Don't tell your old goat what you don't want your wife to know. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know. Hola, señora. Hi. We were wondering... I was talking to the lady, Chico. Hi. My name is Nicole Collard. Concha Garcia. How can I help you, sister? The corporation I represent is considering a major investment in Cuaramonte. Your advice, as the head of an obviously successful concern, is precisely what I'm after. 
My assistant, Mr. Stobart, has a few questions he'd like to ask you. Would you like a dog biscuit? Would you like a smack in the mouth, Chico? Do you recognize the icon on this label? Condor Transglobal. Did the company operate here in Caramonte? Yes, they ran an old container ship, the Mayan Princess. You see this? It's my lucky piece of coal. What's so lucky about it? I'm not sure yet. Nice buns. Have you heard about the forthcoming eclipse? I don't take much interest in things like that. One of the boys might know about it. Do you know Professor Ubiye? Yes. I understand he is about to embark on an archaeological expedition. He hired some equipment from me earlier today. I overheard him talking to the general. I think they're working together. What? If I'd known that, I wouldn't have hired out the equipment. Now, why would the general be interested in an archaeologist? Does this stone mean anything to you? I think it is a spirit stone carved by a Mayan priest, no? I don't know which of their many gods it represents. Would you be interested in these panties? They look about your size. Is that your best line, Chico? I'm serious. They were an unwanted gift. Put them away before you get overexcited. Can you tell me anything about this statue? It is Tezcatlipoca, the god of death and pestilence. That fetish would be considered by many to be a bad omen. Have you heard of a man named Karzak? No, who is he? He's the reason we came to Cuaramonte. We think he's running a drug ring. Well, I hope you find him, but I've never heard the name before. Do you know who owned Condor Transglobal? I have no idea. Can you tell me about the accident at the mine? Accident? It was sabotage. Somebody wanted my mine closed down for good. Do you have any evidence that the mine was sabotaged? Not yet, but I'll get to the bottom of it. There'd been trouble at that mine for several months. The workforce was getting smaller every day. Someone had started a rumor among the men that the mine was cursed. Now the entire operation has been closed down. Where's the site of the mine? Several days upriver at a remote area known as Teokulkan. There was nothing else I wanted to. Hi, good afternoon, and welcome to Consolidated Mining. If you are planning to stay in Cuaramante City, may I recommend the Consolidated Mining Experience, an interactive hands-on tour of one of our deepest mines, with talking tour guides available in three different languages. A tour of a mine? Well, this is a mining company. What else did you expect? Do you know where I could find Senor Karzak? No, Senor. Do you know anything about the eclipse that's due soon? Me? No, Senor. How come you're not wearing any pants? I feel more alert without them. A kind of perky. And your boss doesn't mind? She suggested it. I had nothing...
Do you have a map of Coromonte? A map? I'm sorry, senor, but I don't. What about the one on the wall? Ah, that is an archaeological survey map, senor. Not suitable for tourists. I'll be back. There was nothing else I wanted to talk to. I had nothing else. I wasn't going to try investigating the passage while the general was sat there. It was a computer monitor with some kind of outdated game displayed on it. I didn't have time to get sidetracked by playing computer games. I decided to leave the television switched on. The safe was undoubtedly locked. I had no need. I'd asked him all I'd want. The filing cabinet was probably locked. I had no... Stealing trucks wasn't my style. Is Miguel the reason you're here? Pretty smart, George. I was supposed to make contact with him. By the time I found him, though, he was in jail. I've been trying to figure out a way to get him out since then. Sounds good to me. Count me in. Good man, George. All I need is a detonator. How come you brought a truckload of explosives but no detonator? Call me old-fashioned, but I say packing trunks is woman's work. I left the packing to Pearl and I can't find a darn thing. Just hope she remembered to bring my denture polish. I'd sure hate to arrive back in the States with tar on my teeth. Did you find any evidence of Condor's drug smuggling operations? Drugs? Hell no! Condor was a cover for the illegal export of Mayan artifacts. So who was behind Condor Transglobal? It was registered in the name of Edan. Did you get the guy? I don't think he ever existed. Edan backwards spells Nady, Spanish for nobody. Do you know where I could buy a detonator? Did Dwayne put you up to this by any chance? Oh, I get it. This is to detonate the truckload of explosives, right? Hey, come on, I was kidding. <laughs> Did you think I was serious? I know what you boys are like when you get together and make plans. Dwayne says he could solve all the world's problems if he had enough missiles. Catch you later, Pearl. I had nothing. Do you have any kind of detonating device in stock? Sure. They're kept in that cupboard. I don't suppose you have one spare. I can't simply give you a device like that, no without a damn good reason. The general has a chart in his office, which he was discussing with Ubie. Perhaps that chart will tell us where they're heading. Maybe, but I can't get anywhere near it while the general and his sidekick are there.
Could you distract the general while I took a look at that chart? You're kidding. Did you see the way he was leering at me? Yeah. You'd make a great snake charmer. Come on. Five minutes is all I need. Well, maybe. But it's your hairbrain skin. You do the talking. My girlfriend has a favor she wants to ask you, General. For you, my dear. Anything. I've changed my mind. Oh, no, you haven't. Uh, she's embarrassed about asking you for an interview, General. An interview? With me? Fabuloso! Well, I... Uh, I want to write a story about you. You hear that, Ronaldo? An exclusive glossy spread about your beloved general. Si, senor general. Look after things here. I'm going back to my apartment and I don't want to be disturbed. I'll get you for this, George Tobar. Don't worry. If you're gone for more than a couple of hours, I'll come and get you. A couple of hours? No, 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 senor. The general said nobody must see that chart. He won't know unless you tell him. <laughs> you don't know him, senor. He will worm it out of me as easily as he de-waxes his ear. Okay, okay. I'd have to get rid of him. Would you take my friend to the ruins now the General's gone? I'd be honored, senor. Thanks. I'll go get her. I've made the arrangements for your visit to the temple, Pearl. Oh, that's just great, George. Why don't you come too, honey? I'd love to, but right now I have to save the world. Listen, sweetie. I'm looking for an official guide to take me to the old pyramid. For a lovely lady, I would go to the ends of the earth. For you, I will go as far as the pyramid and back. But what about your husband? What he doesn't know won't hurt him. Let's go, Beanpole. As Paul and Ronaldo set out for the ruined pyramid, I prepared to search the police station.